is good y'all welcome to a very special edition of best of 2023 watch where we play the latest games inserts the greatest games of the year i am streaming to y'all on twitch.tv slash game Honesties, live and direct at about 10 p.m pt i went to gamestop and for the 9 p.m pt release i got a physical copy of the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom so we're doing best of watch early in honor of tears of the kingdom because i already know i'm gonna fuck with this game super heavy so we're getting into it early Tomorrow on Friday, instead of Best of Watch, again, we're doing an all-day Tears of the Kingdom launch party, if you will. Um, so stay tuned for that. Look forward to that. And, you know, we've talked a lot already. Let's just jump into it. Tears of the Kingdom looks so cool next to Breath of the Wild. This is the next horizon. He's getting a little higher in the sky each time on the art. Um, I'm so excited to do this. Let's, let's go ahead and get to it. I just realized, though, I did not put on headphones. So I will do that for a second and get that going. I can wear headphones now that my hair is no longer damp as it was last time I streamed. All right. That's the Badoof Hat Redemption 2. Knocked out just in time for the headphones. Let me power these on. I hope these work right away because I don't want to. Oh, do they? Okay, sweet. I am hearing it. Okay, cool. Let's. Uh get into it i'm like kind of nervous about it you know Whew. we're doing it also let me know how the levels are because they might be too high oh it's a little spooky What are these, like, these footsteps? Strange gloom keeps getting thicker. Also, I also have short hair. Got the Zelda cut when I went to the salon most recently. I love their outfits. I know they're not that different from before, but we've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? I like how they have that little character pop up. Oh, we're going already? Beneath Hyrule Castle. This is like perfect for where we left off in our own streaming journey of Zelda. Because I just began it yesterday. And it's like, okay. This is the classic follow character. Also, thank you for giving me a bunch of hearts. I'm afraid that I'm going to lose all of them. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. I just know they're going to take my hearts. Almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below. So we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. All right, I love a mystery. Love a little mystery and history. Let's go. How far can I like go up? If I talk to her again, what happens? Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. That's so much worse than hearing her say that. I'm scared, nah. Huh? Link! Link! Link. There we go, that's kind of better. That's the Master Sword. Oh, I like that there's a log? Okay, yeah, I do know the sword glowing. It must be sensing something. I knew we had a reason for concern. Ever since the end of Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. 
but I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. Me running full speed. They're probably gonna take that sword from me too. Link, look here! These are ruins from an ancient civilization. I think your first link was the closest. <laughs> Wait, something is written here. Might these be ruins from the Zonai? That's what uh, Barrett was saying, actually, <laughs> earlier today on his stream. And he's like, this is why it matters, but I still like to play. Remember, oh, look at this. <gasps> these carvings. I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like these in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago, in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Those statues there. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. And such large ears. Okay, this is becoming Outer Wilds. Um, real quick. How do the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. They keep telling me about swinging the sword. I just know I'm gonna have to go square up. Is this Demon Souls? Am I gonna die immediately at the first thing? <laughs> Boom, pro gamer. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. You're not hurt, are you, Link? I wouldn't tell you if I was, because I do not talk. Look at these murals. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier, a Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War! 
and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. <laughs> All right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <laughs> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. It's a nice mix of uh, movement and story, you know, just getting a couple things in out the gate. This doesn't look good. This looks very bad. Oh man, look at all that stamina I have. I love how this uh, puts me in the best ending of the main game where I actually completed a lot of things when in reality I did I left a lot undone in the main game in the first game rather what is this place I hate being Zelda I'm not as good as this is a voice actress let's continue link but we must be extremely careful Ooh. So is Link gonna stick his hand into the hand? And get an extra hand? Ooh. Huh? It's nasty wasty. It's one of the tears of the kingdom. I don't know. I have I don't like I didn't watch any of the trailers. <laughs> I watched like the first one and then one other one. Ew. I kind of remember this part, but only a little bit. No, I'm weak. Oh, I like it. Oh, <gasps> the sword. Darkness. The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. I mean, he's got some good points. Zelda. You who carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you... No our names. The weird ghost arm vibe reminds me of uh, Metroid Fusion. I mean, I love Metroid Fusion. Pretty cool. It, ha it definitely has the energy of like we're in the middle of a game, you know. Nice.
Bit of a low time, but all right. Yeah, the kidney bean of the kingdom. <laughs> so is this hand gonna be like my minish cap? Where it's like the hand's gonna like talk to me? Is this like the year of games where your hand or your cuff talks to you? Because for Spoken had like cuff and it's like you talk to the cuff. There's like another game that had a, a thing talks to you. Ooh. Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. The game with the gun was last year. It was high on life. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. No! <laughs> All my efforts. I'm back to being just somebody woken up in my underwear. Ooh, I love that little riff. Okay. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Attack with your weapon. Why? To attack. Ooh, okay. Just check around the surroundings first, you know? Always start by going where they don't want you to go, which is the wrong way. Okay, there's nothing here. You can climb a little bit, though. <laughs> little master knife, yeah. Uh. It's the hand from the wood placard I got with my pre-order bonus for The Legend of Zelda The Tears of the Kingdom. I know, I just can't help but look around a little bit. I really shouldn't do that this early on. Like, they're not gonna put stuff like that this early on. It's just not that kind of game, but I can't help it. Some classic climbing. Climbing out of a little uh, area. Just like before. Oops. I was supposed to jump for that, but I did not. I was supposed to jump for that too, and I did not. Oh, you can hit R to dive. The landing in water, um, even for Great Hat, will prevent you from taking damage. Okay. Like a little divey dive. Game's looking good. Yeah, I mean, it looks about the same as Breath of the Wild, which, I'm not gonna lie. Could be a little nicer, but you know what? I knew it was. I saw how it looked before, right? Like this is seems fine by me. I like the UI. Okay, hello UI overhaul. We got some archaic legwear. Yes, I love. Look at this little skirt. Look at that. That's so cute. 
love a little skirt moment for Link. I didn't realize, too, that he had on a skirt and, like, a shirt. I thought he had, like, a toga thing on. So, this is news to me. Look at him! I love this little guy. He's just the best. Okay. Seeing if there's anything here. Ignore my crazy camera control. He kind of started just slowly walking now. Look at this bird! Oh my god. Ah. Ooh. Look at where we are. Oh, she didn't just say jump there, though, but... I feel like I didn't jump, I kind of just walked off, but... He's doing the thing! He's falling! The composers eat every fucking time! With The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, this is like their, like, cool scripted-esque opening moment. It's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the Great Plateau Jump. But also, like, you know, I think it works for what it is, you know? Ooh, you can... Oh, I'm dropping in? Fortnite Link? Fortnite Link, he's out here dropping it. Look at the- actually, honestly? It might look a little better than Breath of Wild. I mean, call it rose uh, tinted glasses. I don't know. Uh, at me if you want. I feel like it actually does look a little nicer. Maybe that's just, I don't know, not based on much. Obviously you get up close to these little texture textures and it's like... Yes. Okay. Yep, it's what we've seen. Woo, woo. I forgot I don't have a glider. I don't know, it looks pretty good, right? Like, I feel like it looks a little bit better. Um, from what I've seen from Digital Foundry, it's a little nicer. Okay, Digital Foundry confirmed. You know, it's not like, at a glance, I don't, you know, I like, I think I would tell they're the same kind of pairing, but I feel like it looks a little bit nicer. All right. I mean, we're just in it now. We're in it to win it. I'm like, wanting to pick up these rocks already. I'm on alert. It's like a fly by me, but like in real life. Okay. What I remember, what I remember, getting back to my old ways. This is gonna be a nice time. We're gonna have a really nice time together in Hyrule, y'all. I'm so not used to not having the glider. It's so... I mean, again, it's not like it's the greatest fidelity ever. It's still like da da da. You know, I got a lot of stuff to say. But honestly, the art direction does still hit. Like, it's there's something nice about it. Oh. Just kidding. I thought that would be my dive. It was not... How do I dive then? Can I just... Nintendo's done again. Nintendo delivers often with software. You know, I got, I got other beefs, but like with software, mm, it's a good time. It's a good time. 
I guess we'll take this just as like to have extra, like, you know, whatever. Let's just collect some of these at this point. It'll also help us figure out like, what does our inventory space look like, you know? Oh, we got, a, we got an enemy. We got an enemy. Is this other stick like different? Like, will it be like more powerful or less? No, it's like the same kind of, it's all tree branches. Soldier Construct Horn. A blade-like horn from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. There's like a fly like around me. Hold on. It's like so tiny too. I don't know. Ooh. And a Zonai charge. A material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. It's strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. I love these little birds. Someone tell Kelsey there's some birds, some good birds in this game. I'm liking these this little window. Little window moment. I guess I might as well like let this break. I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Ooh! A Nintendo Switch OLED? That's crazy. This is the Pyropad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. I want that case so bad. Why is Nintendo not selling that case? You know what I mean? Like, come on. Princess Zelda's prized possession. It has essential features that are it has a variety of features that are essential for your device. Right? Like, why is this not a case? Like, why can't I get someone's gonna be there are there's a, there are three D printing artists hard at work making these Joy-Con as we speak. Okay, the minus there. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. We stand in the garden in the garden of time. The temple of time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Find Princess Zelda. I'm guessing that's it for the thing. Oh yeah. Okay, before I do that though, let's... More tree branches. Some more mushrooms. I'm just looking around a little bit. All right. Um, okay. Cool. I mean, it seems pretty simple. Let me find out this is the whole game secretly. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. We got the pictures here, adventure log, feature not yet available. Okay, we definitely are, you know, unsurprisingly, we're still in Tutorial Central, you know, makes sense. Oh, let's look at this, let's look at this. Well, 
Ooh. I'm also just like a really fan of just like ancient tech in games. It's just it's just something really satisfying. It has a great satisfying contrast. I think that's what I like about Jack and Daxter and Horizon. Not like the only things I like about those games, but like they are appeal points for me. And Zelda has uh, quite a bit of that as well. I was like, do I want more of these rocks? Let's get these apples. I'm gonna bake an apple pie that you wouldn't fucking believe. Your behavior is a threat. <laughs> That's so cute. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zona who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target. Your opponents swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Press the auto hold. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Oh my god, what happens if I attack? Your behavior is a threat. Oh, he's sad. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, cool. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that I did it. It's fine. I like that. I don't remember if you could do this already, like, from this UI, but I like that you can, like, drop straight from here. Actually, you know what? Let me actually grab the one that's almost broken and use it to just, yeah, just... Apples. How you like them apples? Okay. I mean, it's just... Heading this way, yes? Huh. Huh. Ah! <laughs> As I was falling, I'm like, is there water underneath me? And I quickly realized that there was not water underneath me. So, there we go. First death of Tears of the Kingdom. You saw it right here. <laughs> Check the screen for hints on your next journey. Da da da. Safe skydiving when you- oh shit. <laughs> no, I actually needed that piece of information. Did it count that I like went here though? No, it did not really. Okay. Well, obviously what I did was not correct, so. Should I like dive into the water down to the right then instead? The no death run is over just as quickly as it began. And then I talked to him before about like. I don't know if that changes anything, so I just wanna. Okay, so, how do we avoid this? Well, also, too, can we... Oh, this is like saving, yeah, it doesn't let you save yet. Can I... How do I not... Is it just that I went too far? Because there's wa there is water underneath me, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I just, like, didn't get to it. But hold on, wait, because I kind of am curious about this area, too. I guess I can walk over there, though. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. We don't have to look at everything the first time we see it, is the thing. Yeah, I don't know how I died the first time, but... We did. I guess I moved slightly... ...ahead and, like, didn't land in the water. He was really struggling with that. Wait, what? Aw, oh, man. I was hoping we'd get have like a buddy over there. Look at his little sandals, so cute!
Yeah. Throw up and press okay. R1 and then release. Yep. I would do that by accident a lot. Damn it. <laughs> it had to be done. Oh, shoot. Sorry, y'all. Hey, uh, Swedish, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's use the stick. Actually, let's throw the thing. Nice. It has a good slap sound to it, too. How? Oh shit. Ah. Well, long stick. Take that wood stick. Meet long stick, okay. Yeah. It's all long. Oh, Swedish, thanks for the sub with Prime. I appreciate it. Yeah. First sub of the night. It's our first sub of the night. First sub of the night. It's the first sub of the night. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da -boom, boom. Oh, wait, this guy's a friend. Hold on. Right? I love these little guys. They're so cute. Hello, were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Oh, Trevman, these are so adorable. You're roasting them? They'd be tastier and over- Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about food. I roast. Ingredients by fire. Them- By placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creator is roasted. Ingredients in order to enhance the flavor. Do you have any ingredients? I invite you to use the fire to roast them. Okay, stop walk- why are you walking all up on me? Can I not, like, grab from here? Maybe I can just drop from here? Oh, I guess I didn't roast it enough. Hey, the Badoof hat! Back already, back before we had a chance to miss it. It's a baked apple! It's brand new! Um, let me see where- oh, here it is. I couldn't remember where I put the hat. It's Badoof hat time! No time like the present with Badoof. Badoof, Badoof. Oh, uh, Toad. And then we have a Hydrate as well. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Let me try to... Actually have... Uh, I guess I don't need to do that to hear it, but... Uh, good enough, I guess. Alright, so is it three minutes of Toad? Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the Hydrate too. Backed out! <laughs> oh, 
Give me a second. <clears throat> Baked apple! <laughs> Do I tart? Has a soft and sweet in this apple! Eat to restore three quarters of a heart! Oh, this is a baked apple. Uh, we're gonna also let's roast some we got raw meat. We dropped it on. What if we can we add stuff already? We don't have a we don't have a, like a pot or anything, but we're cooking this stuff. It's really getting charred, but the way we have it. But look, seared steak meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Oh wowie! Okay, what other food do we have? I think that's a lot of food actually. Yeah, everything else is like- Oh, we have the mushrooms, too. Okay, um... Cool, cool. Um... We're gonna drop them the sun shroom- The sky shroom, I mean. Not the sun shroom. The sky shroom. And there's another- Is this the sky shroom also? No, it's a new- It's a toasty shroom. Because it was already toasted. Um, big fan of can't stay. Thanks for being great. Thanks, Swedish Panda, for coming through. Um, you know, hope to see you here sometime soon. Oh, uh, thanks for the sub again, and for saying hello. It's Zelda Day, and I'm here with my pal, Link, and, um, we're cooking some food, we're learning the ropes. It's giving that shrimp from Shark- <laughs> It's giving that shrimp from Shark Tale! Whose sister had a baby? <laughs> I do not- I don't know if I watch Shark Tale, if I'm being honest. But, you know, there's definitely a lot of aspects of a lot of things that we're coming. It's hard not to dip into like doing more of a, um, like a Rick or Morty voice, but I'm doing my best. Adios, gotta sleep for work. Uh, the Garotti, have a great day. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Happy Zelda Night Eve. Wow. Oh, okay. Hold on. Well, oh. Wow. Oh, he has a shield. Oh, but that means we're gonna have a shield soon. Yay! Two can play this game. Oh, he's spinning. Spinning. He's spinning. He's spinning with his hands up. Oh, we got him. We got him. And now we have a cute little, cute little uh, thing. Zeal and... Yep. Okay, yep. Ooh. Look at that! Look what we got ourselves! We got ourselves a good little shield! And... What else is here? Um, not much else is here. I think it's just time to see Zelda. We're here to see Princess Zelda! She's in here! Conveniently! And that's the redemption of Toad. Just in time for this cutscene. Mm. So are we just gonna be trying to get here like the whole fucking game? I don't know. Was I okie doked? That door will open only to mm. those with sufficient power. Ah, the Mario stars. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Oh. I am Raru. Hi. Source of the right arm. What a tagline he has. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. And the quests continue. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Ooh. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Your adventures will be detailed here, in my adventure log. Alright, um... 
Sure, yeah. I mean, seems true. Let's see how we make our way over there. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I was like, is he gonna have some fall damage to this? Let's take this guy out. Ah, li okay, literally, I fucking was like, already, I was already crouching. It's like, y'all y'all know, y'all be setting it up. Y'all be setting me up to learn, and I'm here for it. Appreciate all the arrows here, too, even though I don't have a bow, but... Just looking if there's any other stuff. But like, what's gonna be the benefit here? Can I like do like a stealth takedown of this thing? That would be cool. Pro you probably can't though. <gasps> ah! That's gonna be my whole personality. That's going to be my entire personality in this game. And we got our old wooden bow! Okay, we don't have that many- that many fucking arrows though, so let's not get- get crazy with it. Oh shit, what's that? What is that? Who is that? Who's there? Oh. Maybe he won't see me walking just very obviously. Nah, nah, he knows I'm there. Okay, well, fuck it. We got him. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Oh wait, something popped up? Was it just a climb maybe? Yeah, it was probably just a climb. Or let go, climb down? Okay, okay. Ooh, can I like skateboard on this? I feel like I should be able to like... Like I want to be able to like zoop! Let me zoop. Let me zoop across in a cool way. Anyway, where's this thing at again? The little egg I was supposed to be looking for? Um, I feel like it was somewhere around here. Let's just go more, like, to the left. See how things progress. Okay. Damn, you suck. All right, hold on. There it goes. There you go, Link. You gotta, you gotta think a little bit, you know? Hmm. It's probably like... Yeah, I thought it was a rush room. Though also, I'm kind of curious if there's like... Hold on, I kind of want to see what else is here. Is it just one other rush room? Okay, fair enough. Here we go. Here we go again. Running up the thing. But yeah, I mean, playing this right after playing Breath of the Wild, it's very comfortable. But still has, like, aspects of novelty to it, you know? I don't feel like, oh, okay. This is literally exactly what I was doing. I mean, it, like, it is, but it isn't, you know? It is a nice blend for a direct sequel. Um, just seeing what else is down here. I think I can just keep going. Or I think I'm gonna just keep going, kind of thing. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
I'm digging the shrine redesign. Oh, it's all spooky. The read a shrine, exactly. Oh, it's like walking through a thing of gelatin. Falling dead, depending on the height you may take. Oh, they like need to load the tips in faster, is the thing. There he is. That's our boy. Oh, okay. He's that, that was a little scary. That was a jump scare. I'm oh. oh, sorry, this is me. This is me. So, so you've made it here. This is a shrine of a light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. He's gonna spit in it and be like, that's the swimming pool. Ultra hand. Oh, grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. So I have a fucking like. So it's basically like those little hands that like. Remember those hands when you were a kid that were sticky and you could whip it and it would like stick to the wall. It's like that, but it can't actually useful. <laughs> um. Okay. Mm. Sticky hands. Yeah. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things, really anything you can imagine. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay, I'll activate. I was like, okay, all right. It's a little boring, but I think it's just supposed to be a ramp, right? For now, but maybe it's like fancier later. Oh, there's also like little stairs here. This is attached. Oh. Oh, it's like it's it's like all gooey. Oh. I did not want to make this though. How do I unmake it? Oh, unstick with R. Yeah, I definitely want to unstick this. Oh, that's satisfying. The fact that you just zoop. Okay, rotate with R. Wait, hold on. The movement can get pretty precise, which is nice. That being said, I'm still like struggling. Give me a second. So maybe it's like, can I put this here? Not quite. Hold on, I know what I want to do. I want to like stick them together. I guess I can stick them together ahead of time and then just carry all of it. I almost suggested shaking the stick, but I thought it'd be silly. Yeah, I mean that's like it. That's exactly how it looked, right? You know. Do I just make like one long one? Can I like move this, or like? Yeah, okay. Oh, like it shows like the goop and all that. It's kind of weird. Okay. This is like a little jank. <laughs> I mean, I think that's like how they pictured it going down. Ooh. We gotta try to get the little chest there. Maybe I can rotate this the other way, like, and make it... My design! My beautiful, horrible design. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, okay. G give me a second. I got a whole vision here. Something like this? This is probably too steep, though, is the thing for me to climb. Go, Link, go! Oh, no! Oh, you can be really clever. Yeah. Go, Link, go! Go, Link, go! Oh, it's just like, it's just a smidge too steep for him to do it. Let me try it again. I feel like I can just... Oh, damn it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to roostick this then. I mean, it gives you room to be creative. Oh, you know what? Actually, we might not have to restick it, because now it'll be, like, a little less steep. Oh, okay. I did it! I was expressing amazement at your cleverness. But thank you for clarifying. I love that animation. Very cute. Ooh. This is so cute. All right. So if I accidentally attach one of those planks to the chest and just pull out the platform. Nice! I wonder if I should take this with me though. Do I need this still longer? I also thought of just using it to knock it off the platform, but I just wanted to use it to actually like walk up there. I don't know if I still need this, but... And then, okay, so... It's skateboard time or something? Wait, what's up here? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What's up here? Oh, I'm stuck in my little hut. I feel like I saw something. Maybe I didn't. I guess not. Oh, it's that thing. That, like... Bridge thing. Yeah, Link's, uh, safety dead. Exactly. Uh, sinner Sinister Eddie. So ominous. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> This is my, like, insanely steep DIY stairs. Can I just, like, pull it off? Um, okay, hold on. Wait, oops. Was well, there a way that I can? Oop. Okay, well, we can do that at least. But how do I get these down? Hmm. I didn't see the name, so I thought you were calling me sinister. <laughs> no, never. Oh, uh, there's gotta be a way to get those down. Yes. Let me make my skateboard! <laughs> I don't know if you need those orbs. I thought, like, I could make, like, a little, like, thing here, you know? Also, what's down here is just death, yes? Yeah, it's definitely death. Yeah, this, that's the only way to dream, right? The goo. I mean, they want me really just to make the thing that's above me, but I'm like, oh. I want to make something else. I guess it'll still be fun to, like, be on this hook. Alright, so, let's rotate this. I know I can also just rotate it, but... It's, it's just kind of easier for me to walk across it. 
bitch. I was like, you better let me get on this thing. Yay, first shrine. So good. You have done well to reach this place. So this is like Zelda's great grandma with this guy. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. <laughs> evil. I like the hook snaps to specific spots on the wood board. Yeah, makes makes it a little bit easier. It's like a gajillion generous spot. So great, 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 great grandma. A crystal that glows with a light that purges Ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Thanks, mom and dad. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Hold B to sprint. Oh, damn. All right. Great. Oh, well, he's got to stop doing that. This you can't tell me this isn't the Outer Wilds DLC, though, with these like ghost deer people. Like, come on now. This is Outer Wilds. You did very well getting through that shrine and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pot Pad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Handy? Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, click R and then place the pin. Ultra handy. Yes. Bitch, where is it? Okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Guess we'll have to go down because of the, uh... Well... Yeah, I missed my glider! What's the one that restores my glider? Oh shit, now I want to just jump. Like, dive. He falls so fast. He falls too fast. Can you believe if somebody like, downloaded this whole game on a plane? Like, what do you mean? Like he's in the sky and he was like, I'm down, I bought the airport Wi-Fi or something. <laughs> Happy uh, Tears of the King Tot K launch day. Uh, I just got my cut from GameStop. There was a pretty big trend. Yeah, yeah, I did the same thing. It's Lam Nam. So the entire map, it's just a sky. So right now, this is what the map looks like. And yeah, it's Great Sky Island right now, but I'm sure I could, well, I mean, like, just from the trailers and stuff, it's like, there's other stuff down below, but I would just die to fall to my death, you know what I mean? Um, exactly like that. Okay, cool, that's cool. I mean, it, the download was literally two minutes for me on my Wi-Fi, so I imagine on a plane it's like, I don't know, worst case, 20 minutes? You know what I mean? Like, how long, do you know how long it took him? Yo, what's up, jabronis? I just downloaded the entire- Wait, let me hold on my- <laughs> my mic impression. Yo, what's up, ya jabronis? I just downloaded the entire Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild- Excuse me! Tears of the Kingdom while 1,000 feet in the sky, and I'll tell ya, it's a great day for video games. <laughs> How was that? Was that like- I feel like that was- that was an approximation, right? That's we have Snow White Mike at home. Snowbike Michael. Legally distinct Snowbike Mike. Um, I love Snowbike Mike. He's great. He's got a really uh, infectious energy to him. 
Like if I could get have one ounce of that energy, I think I'd feel a lot better about the day to day. Oh man. Ooh. Well, let's not die here. We learned what Mike's real name is today. Oh my God. Can you tell me what it is? But you got to tell me the actual real name. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, I would he would do that. To celebrate Tears of the Kingdom, I'm about to skydive out of this plane. I'll see you on the ground. Love ya, let's have some fun out there. Rexford, get the fuck out of here that his name is fucking Rexford. Get out of here. Get out of here now. Rexford? It's so fake, it's gotta be real, right? Like, that's no lie. Oh my god, I'm about to pull Greg Miller and be like, Mike, I gotta call you. Is your name Rexford? The community is telling me your name is Rexford. Rexford Dexford? Snow Michael Rexford Michael? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. So funny. I actually don't have a middle name myself. And people always think I'm lying about that. Like, we just weren't given one. So, neither, neither was my brother Edwin. I think middle names are fun. It's like a like a little bonus identity, you know. This bird's not gonna know what the fuck hit him. You should never let me in your community, motherfucker. Oh shit! No, he fucking knows. He fucking knows. He knows that I'm here. Yeah, people think I'm lying for some reason. Yeah, people always because people a lot of people tend to get weird about their middle name. Like they don't want anyone to know it. They're like, it's ugly and it's stupid. Um, this bird is fucking staring directly at me. Yeah, I had no chance. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Damn it. Come back here. Be my lunch. You fucking bitch. All right. I have two middle names, but I don't share my whole government name live on stream. I mean, that makes sense. But, like, if you can avoid it, like, why not? You know what I mean? Um, I share my full name because people already know my full name, and... Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not that big a deal. I like a blessing in that regard. Um, oh, does he, like, not share his full name because he's, like... To, you know, prevent identity theft or something. I'm a junior, so my parents and sister aunts and uncles all call me by my middle name. Ah. Janet Emiliana. Emiliana is like a pretty good name. That would be cool. Would be cool if true. Now Blessing has- Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that now. You're right, you're right. He told us his full name once. Um... Cause it's like tradition for that like everyone like a fuck ton of people toss a name in there basically he said his full name today i he said his full name today though yeah, yeah i do he's told it before it's not like it's a secret but i get if you have a middle name like i wouldn't necessarily be like oh i'm always gonna share the middle name type thing i got lost in where the fuck i was gonna go oh i'm going here i'm going here the, the red the red pin I start going backwards. <gasps> oh, it got dangerous. It got dicey. Everyone calm down for a second. Okay, right, the red pin. Go into the red pin. It's got fun and games. We're getting our abilities and we're hanging out in the sky. My name is Link and this arm is dead. So I don't know if y'all saw, I gotta link it if you haven't seen it, because it's like the funniest shit ever. There was this guy on TikTok who was talking about... Oh, that's why I have to go somewhere else, because... Oh, we can go like this way and then around, I think. He was talking about how when it comes to The Legend of Zelda, he's always thinking about like how smelly Link is. And he ranked like all the Links across all the games by how like much they stink. And now like I can't help but think about that kind of stuff when I'm playing... Um, Oh, the amiibo is also a power when I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom. Like, 
this link has a dead hand on his body like he's probably i think he's got to be default smellier than breath of the wild link just for the decaying hand alone you know okay let's see how to get around i mean i know there's that little like little zoop thing i can take for some places but not all gotta plan on how to get where i'm gonna go i guess just a long way maybe because i thought these stacked more and they don't seem to nobody in these worlds is taking a bath yeah, but like he brings up really interesting stuff like look it up on TikTok if you have TikTok because it's so amusing. But he brings up stuff like, well, Majora's Mask, like that's not too bad because like it was only like three days, technically. Hi, baby! It's good to see you again! Hi! Hello! Oh! The little baby! He's back! I don't know I love you! Oh! I will find you everywhere. You're my best friend. Well, he can go into the springs at any time. That, like, that helps a little bit, but... You really do have everything on that shelf. I have a lot of stuff on the shelf. Okay, so my plan is to go, like, this way and then cut around. Maybe there's a faster way to go, but, like, I don't know it, so... I try to have a lot on me, because you just never know. Ooh, some spicy peppers! Yeah. Again, do I need to take this long-ass way? Probably not. I'm guessing there's, like, a little shortcut with my new special hand, my ultra hand. Oh shit, it's cold here. Okay, well, give me a second. I want to go, like, left and then over. Oh, but I have a spicy pepper, so we'll be okay. I'm not gonna spend too long here. Okay, relax, Link. You could do this. Oh. So my plan's to go... Well, my plan's to go up, so my, like back and then to the right I thought it would make him hotter it didn't really oh no not the winter services fine okay Y'all got me here. I won't be able to do this. Fine, fine. Fine. I feel like maybe I could have gone this way. Oh, you can't fast travel yet. Okay. Maybe I could have gotten by this way, and I just went the long way. Yeah, because I kind of came back this way. So maybe I can go this way instead and get here through that. Because I don't think I can cut straight down this way, like straight into the left. Because it's like elevated and stuff. There's these gaps. Like, the only thing with this map right now is like some of these like... There's bigger gaps than it looks. Like it looks like it's all stacked on top of each other, but it's not. Okay, so what's the new plan? Um, maybe I will try to just go straight that way. And see. At least we found a little, uh, Korok seed, buddy. So it's not like it was all for nothing. We're getting materials, you know? We're preparing.
This is around where I died, ripped to having died. Ooh. Some bird drumstick. This like uh he does, but it's now called something else. It's called like Pura's pad or whatever. Pura Pura. Is it Pura? P-U-R-A, as I say it. Uh, and it's the Nintendo Switch now instead of the um the Wii U gamepad basically because like it's always you know the shit that like if I go straight like can I not make it from there like I remember not being able to make it over there but maybe I can but yeah it's the Nintendo Switch Pura which I feel like is kind of not the best name to be honest she can say it's way better than Pura pad like it also makes me think of um like menstrual pads, so there's that. I know it's named after her, but like, you know what I mean? Like, see, shit, I can't get over here. Oh wait, I don't need to go there. I can go this way and then, I think it's still same problem though, right? Cause I'd want to go this way. I gotta get over here. Cause then I can take the little thing over. I don't know how I'm gonna get over there. Like, I feel like getting over here would be good. But maybe that's not gonna work. I don't know. Want that alliteration? Yeah, the little I, I like, it's not, it, you know, I get it, but it's, mm. Isn't this the same problem I ran into earlier, though? Because I won't be able to get over there because of the ice. Should I just try to go back and cut this way? I think that's probably it. They probably didn't make it that hard to do this, so I probably should just go back to where I was. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, because this is like the icy area, I think. Unfortunately, I can't fast travel back, but I'm just gonna go back to where I was at. Oh wait, hold on. You can never see anything on this map, though. So let's just head back to where I was. And that'll probably be easier. Because really, I just went... Oop! I just went, like, the other way, and I feel like that wasn't the way I was supposed to go. Alright. Making my way around, walking downtown, looking for flowers, because that's where the little buddies are. That's where the buddies are. There's also another, like, thingy here. So... I'm sure this is what they had in mind when they laid this all out. That bell's very ominous to me. I feel like it's everything's gonna go Blood Moon Resident Evil style all of a sudden. Okay, so what do we got going on here? So this is this gap's too big, but we can go this way. Yes. Go, Link, go. Go, Link, go! Okay, so I'm back where I was before, but I feel like I was supposed to cut the other way than what I did. That's the vibe I get. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. 3,000% they wanted me to cut this way. But it wasn't all lost. We did find something, so that was cool. Alright. Hold on, I'm still getting used to, like, rotating it. Wait. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, let's... There we go, there we go. Oh. Oops. Okay. 
Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Put your hands up! We. Oh, this guy's nice. And then this guy's a ghost. And then we have- Oh, we got a bunch of little stuff here. Well, before I do all that, let me just look around real quick. See what there is to see, you know? Okay, anyway. Time to talk to my ghost, buddy. I see they're still at work, even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. Yes, okay. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. The fact that their label, labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they still perform it. It is disquieting to me. All right, that's it for the coffee that I had. And... <laughs> to the sky or something, I don't know. Oh shit, this... <laughs> that fell quite a bit. A bundle of wood. Oh, I guess you can't break that. And now my stick is barely done. Let's just break it. Yeah, let it, let it break. I don't mind. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's working. He's hard at work. Because he goes forward, face it head on. Hmm. Pardon me. I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for wood cutting too? Wood cutting. Wood cutting. Is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to some platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here to chop wood daily or something and yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in this intended direction this is why you may hear myself you may have heard me muttering to myself fix your gaze face it head-on ah, I apologize I have been rambling for some time there's an axe I no longer need to use for woodcutting if you want it oh my has it grown so late already I must have failed to notice the time bell I will rest for today oh that's what that is the time bell Hmm. Wait, if I just drop this though, like it just dies, yes? So maybe I should just use the wood things to get across? But then, like, attach them to the other side next. Oh, I didn't realize I had motion. I have motion controls on. I guess I think I'm okay with that. I didn't really make that decision conscientiously, but I don't know if this is like. Am I supposed to just use the boat to float across, or? Oh yeah, it's it's definitely teetering. This whole thing might go under in a second. Ah, oh, no, no! There we go. I love this. Uh, these very unelegant designs that you can do. 
I don't know what I need this for, but I just I'm gonna keep it for now. That's a little boat. All right. It's, oh wait. What is this? Oops. Didn't really end up working out the way I wanted to, but. Whatever. Whatever. I think it's just like over here. Oh, it's like past the water. I must protect myself. What's going on? Oh, also, wait, hold on. There's more food. Or flowers. Or whatever. Danger. Oh, he's just a baby. My next batch will be so tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm. I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. Two canes. Thanks for the follow. Um, it is my du it is the duty of a construct to field any questions that you have such whatever the fuck. Um, you may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Cooking? Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. Educate me. Cooking, step one. Hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two. Throw them into the pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is a simple version of cooking. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what effects you gain on the ingredients or some shit, whatever. Some meals are warming. Others replenish. Stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster food. And monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat. So take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me any time you have further questions about cooking. Oh dear, it is already too late. I was too absorbed in my cooking to notice. I will rest until the next bell. Do not let that dissuade you if you have questions. Wait, hold on. I'm interested in something. It says... Select for recipe. Oh, look, you can see. Red Tad Tad. I heard great things about recipes. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dishes with this ingredient. Oh, I love that they have this now. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, this is like, I mean, I put, just played Breath of the Wild yesterday. Like, so hold on. Wait, can I do, can I do, let me see. Oops, I didn't want to eat that, but that's okay. Um... Like, will it now show me? Like, it kind of catalogs for it. You can auto a recipe once you learn them instead of having to memorize a recipe to cook. This is really cool. Hold on, let's take a look at this. Oh shit, it says to check a meal's ingredients, select it from your inventory, and then check, check recipe, okay. Like, you can see all these recipes, and then also, like, can you, like, just view all your recipe? Check recipe. You can like see what went in. This is cool. I wonder like what is it? Does anyone know like how does it handle like replications kind of thing? I don't know if I want to cook this though. I think I'd rather. Mushroom skewer. We don't even have this many hearts, though, so we really don't need to be make making these elaborate meals at this point. <laughs> this is v much cooler than what we had before. Mm-hmm. 
I'm getting hungry just looking at this. Pepper steak. That is so cool that you can do that. What a quality of life update. They can select the recipes and then throw them in there and cook. Thank God. How many shrines, Jay? I've only done one. <laughs> I did the first one. I'm heading towards the second one. Right now, I'm just- I'm busy cooking. I'm cooking my meals. What about you? How many shrines? I'll probably- well, not super soon, but I'll stop in a bit just for sake of time. Like, what time it is and stuff. Um... How do you feel about the building? I think it's cool. I like it a lot. Um, I'm curious as to how complicated it'll get, but it's pretty good. I'm on the second one right now. Okay, we're kind of like in the same pace. It took me a while to get to the second one because I went a different direction than they wanted me to go. And then I like had to loop back around. Oh my god, this is a magical backpack? Oh no, it's... <laughs> oh, it's just a baby. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. <laughs> my friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Oof. Okay, I mean, can I just... Oh my god. I can deliver the baby? Oh, phew. hopefully he was okay with that. Um, yeah, like right now the building, it seems like super simple, but I'm sure it'll get more like interesting as time goes on. Not that I need everything to be like the hardest puzzle in the world. Can I go with him? Can I- oh, can I attach him there? Is that bad to attach him to the thing? That way he doesn't fall off, because he's just a baby. I hope that they, like, have me do this baby delivery service. Oh shit, no, I gotta- I gotta move it more. I wanna be able to go with him, make sure he's safe. It's too much building right, uh, for me right now. I'm just lazy eh, from waiting in line. <laughs> no, I get that. Look at this. Oh, wait, okay. That's just the same deal. Either way, you unstick stuff. Yeah. There's my friend. Hello. You're here. Oof. Yeah. Reunite at last. Thanks. I'll have to give you something, but here's all I have. Hell yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Is the baby delivery service going to be its own little thing? Bye. Okay, hold on. All right.
Alright, let's go to the second one. Okay. We. Oh, Sam! Andy Cortez coming through a raid with a party of 142. What's up, Andy? Um, how's it going? How was Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, welcome to Raiders. My name is Jagrcia, aka Gamonesis. Oh shit, I needed the f the fucking water thing that I didn't get. Oh no, what do I do now? You know what? I can figure it out. Uh, I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I stream normally on Tuesdays and Fridays at 3 p.m. PT. Tuesdays a long form. Let's play. Friday is best of 2023 watch where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. But this is a funky week because it's Tears of the Kingdom launch week, day, whatever you want to couch it as or call it. And so we're out here, just like uh, Andy was. Thank y'all for all the follows dropping in. I appreciate it. Um, checking it out for the launch night. Came out 9 p.m. PT, which is not too bad for me out here on the West Coast. Um, and yeah, we did, you know, if you've obviously like caveats, if you want to hit follow and then dip, I get it. Uh, if you have been playing, I have done one shrine. I got kind of lost. I found a Korok though, and I just delivered one of the little Korok babies to his friend. And now I'm trying, I got to cross the river, but I didn't bring what I needed with me. So now I'm like, what am I going to do? I would probably should have brought the sail. I didn't know that this thing was here, even though I could see all the water. But I have an idea. Could I just like... Could I... Like, add this some as little leaf I have? No. Okay. But could I maybe put it, I could put it on a stick though or something. I don't know. What could I do? What could I do? Let's see. Could I like make a fan? I think they said I could make a fan with this. But maybe I have to like drop the stick first. This is gonna be a very crude solution, but um, if it's even a solution. Can I like put this onto the stick? Yes. Wait, but did it go? It didn't go. Hold on. Well, I can't see anything in the grass. We were just exploring. Nice. Um, let's see. Let's... Right? I was told that I could do anything. Alright, hold on. So if we drop this and I drop this leaf? Could I, like, fuse them together? Yes. Oh, but it, like, breaks! Okay, that does not work. That does not work. Can I just, like, put this in here and struggle? How am I going to get it moving, though? Because I don't have a sail. Because I messed up. Is there another sail? <laughs> can I just... How can I do it? Can I put this tiny, tiny leaf? This is, like, so rough because I don't have what I feel like I need. Can I just... Um, I tried doing that and it didn't go. Can I just... That's not it. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I tried putting it on a stick and it wouldn't go. But we also know most things respawn. Can I just... Ooh! Maybe it's because I... No, I did put it on a stick. But when I picked up the stick, it, like, didn't work. Um, Let me try to do it again. Because that was my idea. I'm like, I don't have a... I don't have a sail, but... Maybe I could just pick this up. Oops. Sorry, I didn't attach it there. Like when I attach these and I hit take, it like it like breaks it. Oh, I need the fuse power from the next shrine. Okay. Well, guess what? 
we're gonna struggle our way in here because I'm not gonna be able to make it now. Cause I don't have a sail. Oh, can I just make it from here? No way, no way, I don't have enough stamina for that. Okay, there must be something else here though, because they wouldn't let me like be stuck, you know what I mean? So I'm sure we can find something. I'm gonna stone axes here. Oh fuck, he saw me. Ooh, we got a thick stick. And some arrows and a stone axe. This is a very fruitful time, but okay. I mean, we could just fuse 8 million items. Maybe a lily pad? Could be something we could use. Oh, no, you can't pick that up. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. They did put this here for me because they knew that I would need it. Thank you. Thank you. Because there was another one on the other island area and I couldn't find it. Oof. Can I just... Oh, that's nice. I just kind of cut through stuff. Ignore the fact that there's a hook on this one. Yeah. Oh shoot. Can I like get out? Oh! Well you know what? That's- oh well, Is it still in there? Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> Damn it. I mean... Oh y'all... Why? Why? You know what? To avoid this, let's just grab this guy from over here. Oh wait, it's still there. It's still there. Hold on. Oh, but it's like stuck underwater. No! Okay, well, we'll just bring this guy over here. And you guys said most stuff respawns, so let's just go back and see if it's there. I was seeing what this was. Okay. Running, running, keep running, 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 keep running, running. Here we go. Well, it didn't respawn, but there's a second one. I'm guessing enough people fucked that up that they're like, we need to add more of these. Slowly walking with our items. All right. I know there's a hook on here and that's kind of awkward, but. Actually, why don't we take the hook off for a second? It'll be smoother if we just take the hook off. Hey peeps, how's it going? What's up, Shades? It's going. We're we're building. We're crafting. I think for the hydrate. This is kind of a I forget. Is the chest icon everything? You don't have everything on the shrine. If there's still a chest icon, it means there's loot in the shrine that you did not get. You're welcome. <laughs> Fuck, okay, here goes. Okay, this is like jank as jank as fuck, but don't even worry about it. Dun 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 dun. dun I know this is a Kirby song, but dun 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 dun. I feel like we're still gonna be like a little too far away to swim there, but we also have like some uh, stamina stuff. But look at me and my cute little skirt. Yeah, speaking of that, now that gets me wondering. Oh damn, I'm missing some of the loot then too in that shrine. We'll have to go back. 
I was going so far. How long in that line were you? Um, so to pick up the game, I personally, we got in line at like near eight o'clock type thing for 9 p.m. release. Maybe we got in line like a tiny bit earlier than that and we just waited. And that's just to like be able to get closer to, um, oh, can you even eat when you're in here though in the water? I think you can, yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, but before to like verify your receipt, which is like what lets you walk in and just hand them the receipt and then get your game. Um, that wait was like also an hour. So two hours total at the end of the day, but um, yeah, it was really fun. You know, I was like talking about it a little bit before. I didn't want to spend too much time like just talking about stuff before playing um, the game. Our old friend, the jellies. Love the jellies. Love some jelly. That's not too bad. No, it's really not that bad. And um, and you really didn't need to do that. Like you could have got there like they went really quick, like genuinely. Like once the doors opened, like we weren't like by any means first in line. We I, I kind of uh, took a video that gives you a sense of like where we were at in the line. Um. But yeah, I took a video that kind of shows where we were and, you know, they had like a lot of the pre-order bonus, like little wood placard things. So that was cool. And they, it went pretty quick once nine o'clock hit. Like I probably got my game at like 9.04 or something and I wasn't like anywhere near first in line. Um, and yeah, it was really, it was really fun. Um, you know, it's definitely like an old school thing, an antiquated thing. You know, there's so many easier ways to get the game. Really just getting it digitally. You can just have it ready. You can pre-install it and stuff. Um, but I like the... Let's use this, use thick stick. Whack them. Nice. I like the energy of the, um, you know, midnight or 9 p.m. in our case release. Um, no, I just got the regular base game. I didn't get the collect position. I kind of wish I got it in some ways, but it's fine. I wasn't that, I was kind of underwhelmed by what they had in the collector's edition. So I was like, whatever. Ooh, we can't carry any more weapons. Let's get rid of this tree branch then and take thick stick. I keep thinking like someone's gonna be under here and no one's been under here. Um, what else? What else? But yeah, it was cool just like being around and like everyone being so excited for the game and kind of just sharing that energy of it and, and I also just like getting physical copies anyway. Like when I can, which is pretty much a, uh, you know, for good reason, a rarity for me. I get a lot of codes for games that I want to get or want to check out. Those codes are, of course, digital. So this is like a rare opportunity where it's like, okay, I can go get a physical game because uh, I guess that kind of unfortunately, right? Like Nintendo's really give out a lot of codes, even post launch. Like first of all, pre-launch, it's like they give out very little to very few outlets. Um, and then afterwards, same deal. So it's like, okay, you're gonna have to buy this. Like, and that's kind of the case with like all Nintendo games. So yeah, physical copy of it. Uh, nice to have a physical copy. And since I want a physical copy, I don't want to have to wait for like, a store to deliver it to me, which would get here tomorrow, you know? Um, so it's a cool opportunity to be able to do the um, midnight or in our case, 9 p.m. release at GameStop. You know, have your cake and eat it too, get the game pretty much right away physically. Again, not as fast as if you just did digital, but you know, it's part of the vibes. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Give me your hand. No, give me the lamb. Then you'll get your reward. Um, I keep debating since... Ooh, what is that? BB still has some. Best Buy. I was like, BB? Best Buy still has some, but it's a lot of money for what's in there. I'll probably grab the physical sometime after I finish Breath of the Wild. I got some finishing, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I feel like that's totally makes sense. 
Yeah, because like the collector's edition, it's cool, but like it didn't really have anything that looked super cool. The last time I bought a special edition game, again, Nintendo, because they don't give codes, was um, Metroid Dread. I got like the, it wasn't the, a collector's edition, but it was like the special edition one. It had like a thicker box that it came in. It had like art cards and like um, a steel book. And I think it was only like 10 max $20 more for that. Um, and I really liked having that. I did eventually throw out the box for it because I'm like, you know what? I don't need it have 8 million empty boxes with all the shit that I have and I'm not like that kind of collector or at least I try not to be with like hoarding the boxes um but I still have like the case the case is so gorgeous I have the little art cards eventually I should probably figure out how to display the art cards but yeah you know it wasn't anything wild in there it wasn't a super big amount but it was um like it looked nice you know and I liked that series a lot and that game was super fun attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it you can do the fusion but that will destroy whatever has been attached oh you can undo the fusion but that's okay yeah yeah so this is what i thought i had why not pick up that sword just ahead and fuse it mm -hmm. to nearby object use fuse or receive the blessing from the shrine we have to go back to the other shrine now too because isaiah pointed out that we didn't get all the stuff well he didn't point out but he asked me and then i realized i didn't get everything in that shrine either um so now we'll have to go back the ability to combine Okay, um... Oh. Oops. We fucked up real bad. We fucked up real bad! Yeah. No! No! Oh, it wasn't that bad. But it's a little bad. It's a little rough. That was an accident. As you can see, I'm still sloppy with the buttons, as I've been. No, you can only fuse one. What? Are, what am I? Okay, I need to undo this though. Like, this wasn't meant to be. Oops, I hate that I keep doing that. Wait, how do I unfuse though? Like, what's the easiest way to unfuse? A creation of my own, for real. Oh my gosh. Destroy fuse material. Okay. Um. Now we have this thing. That was so rough because I like didn't realize like how it worked. But now we got it. Now we got it. Thanks for the follow, Glenn. I appreciate it. I was like, is this how deep is this water? Speaking of all these damn chests, too, let's get a sense of what's here. Ah, oh, the Badoof had an honestly glorious creation. Badoof! Yeah, the Badoof has gotten is real popular at night. Occasionally, I don't have it on as a redemption if my hair was recently washed. So it's good. It's good for it to be back. Smash the pillars in the water. Oh! I'm scared something's gonna fall on my skull. Oh, there's a there's the chest. Thanks. Ooh, fire fruit. So it, it says it generates heat, heat when struck. Make it stop. Make it stop. Attach material to arrows. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, wait, hold on, okay. So you gotta go up and then this seems like a lot. I don't... You know, I'm just gonna sense it out, because this is a lot to read. Yeah. 
Okay. Ah, ah, for that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so. What is it? It's like, oops, not this. Fuse. But how do I do it? I do it by... I just gotta look at it again, because I don't... I was like, as you were telling it to me, I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. Um, so it's... Press up and hold, bow drawn and select. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. Press up and hold, bow drawn and... Oh, select the material to attach. Oh, now I see it, now I see it, now I see it. Okay, it's a, it, it took a little getting used to. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. We got our nifty gifty. Hmm. Can I already see? I think there's more stuff then. Worst case scenario though, if you mess it up, you can also just light your arrow in the flames. I'm trying to see what else is here. Hmm. Maybe it's just past the door, because maybe there's more stuff going on here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, he's got two. Oh, he got- he's smart. <laughs> yeah, we got him. We got him. Okay, so is this it's probably not enough, yeah. It seems like it wouldn't be enough. But also, hold on, hold on. We got Oh no. What, what kind of stuff do I have though? Yeah, I mean they're all just wooden sticks. Oops. Okay, we got a couple- we got large stick, wooden stick. I wouldn't mind large stick, though. Let's trap one of these wooden sticks. We got 8 million wooden sticks. Got a long stick here, and then we have more of our buddies here. More of this fire fruit. Okay, cool. But why would they... Uh, okay. Hmm. Alright, let's just do this for now. I feel like there's still something missing. But we'll see. We'll see. How it's going. What is up? Yes, we offer the light to cleanse the evil. So did I missed some of the loot then, is what you're trying to tell me.
Light of Blessing. Do -do -do. Boom. There we go. There it is. Okay, next to out. Oh. Right? I'm missing loot, aren't I? Link. Oh, what's up? I came because there is something I failed to give you. Please take it. It's hard not to think of that joke. I hold back from it all the time. A gift from the Zonai Control Energy Cell, designed to be worn the belt, it can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are, are no Zonai devices here. However, I have associates on the other side of the cave system. They can teach you how to use it. I hope that the energy cell... I provided is useful to you. And Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Um, so what did you think of Breath of the Wild once you finished it? Did finishing it give you hype to start this game? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it was, it's a perfect continuation in terms of like how it's set up. Um, woo! Also, let's look. Yeah, I'm missing loot. How am I missing loot? Give me the loot. Give me the I'm missing loot everywhere. This is no bueno. Um, it's me just jumping around in a circle. Um, yeah, it. I think it has a really nice through line to it. Um, it was fun finishing it up, especially seeing like the castle and everything. Um, Final Boss was really fun. I never saw what Ganon looked like and what form he would take. So Spider Ganon was very scary. Um, yeah, it was a fun fight. Got to use some parrying, didn't really parry before, and uh, yeah, I mean, overall I had a really good time with it, so let's go ahead and, um, you know, two shines down. Might go back to them to try to get some of the loot, but I don't know yet. Uh, I will be back here tomorrow playing a fuck ton of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We'll be starting around 12 PT, like 12 PM PT. Maybe a little later if I end up getting like too busy to like get around to it any soon at, at that time. But that's my goal is to start at 12. We'll see if I get there. Um, but please stick around because we are going to raid out. Um, I think I'm going to try to raid Waypoint. I don't know if they have raids turned on. But, you know, shout out to Waypoint. Waypoint's awesome. And closing down because Vice is closing it down and that sucks. But they're here. They're hanging out. They're still giving great content. So if they have raids on, we'll raid them. If not, uh, it'll be a little surprise for where we end up because I got some ideas uh, if that doesn't work out. But as we close out the stream, um, I do want to talk about just, you know, the idea of this as in the best of 2023 watch section. Two hours or so with this game flew by. I feel like there's so much more that I want to have done with it. Um, that being said... Um, it's been really cool. Definitely feels like more Breath of the Wild, right? It's like Breath of the Wild with Lime, which is not a bad thing by any means. I'm enjoying getting the new abilities and I'm excited to see like how it all comes together. Um, so yeah, that has been Tears of the Kingdom and we'll hang out for a bunch more, um, tomorrow. So, uh, hang tight. In the meantime, let's go ahead and close things out before we raid out of here by... Giving a big thank you to all of y'all viewing, following, subbing, moderating, of course, my sponsors over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash game monices with rewards as low as the $1 tier all the way up to the $25 tier like my sponsors. I, of course, am talking about none other than Biscuit Davey, Edwin Garcia, Kevin Fair, Patrick Schwiegert, folks like Platform Fanatic, Play Adjacent, Rendleton, Spencer Cassiano, and of course, our own Nina McKee. Thank y'all so much for helping me do what I do when I do what I do. Uh, let's give that rate over to waypoints and those folks some love um and yes it did, was able to go over it is a follower or sub only chat so if you haven't followed before go drop them a follow um just to be able to hang out talk to them check out what they're doing and i'll see y'all here next time bye <laughs>